Tatiana, thanks so much. Well, as stay at home orders are lifted and businesses open back up, many are feeling different levels of comfort when it comes to interacting with people and getting back to normal life. So here to talk more about that is 7 News' Christine Scarpelli with a mental health expert about the best ways to make sure that everyone feels comfortable. An important conversation, Christine. I think so, yeah, even if it's just addressing that comfort level, maybe checking in with the other person. How do you feel about something like a hug? We've got Allison here this morning, certified health coach. Also talking, um, gosh, with your husband, a counselor here at Blue Ridge Hope. You guys making counseling or even just talking to someone very accessible. So that is something we appreciate right off the bat. But, you know, things are going to look different. Going back to a restaurant and eating with somebody, going into work, a business meeting, even a handshake is going to look different. Um, you say it's really about self-care in many ways, caring for yes. yourself both with primary and secondary food. Tell me about this. Yes. So primary food is... Um, actually more important than secondary food, but it's not the food you put in your mouth. Okay. So your primary food is your relationships, your career, your spirituality, your connections to community, where secondary food is actually the traditional food we think about. Wow, you saying even you can be healthier if you have maybe a little bit of not so healthy food in your life, but your relationships are healthier, you have yes. less stress. How do you get to a point of health? So I, I really think that um, stress management, particularly in this time, is, is really huge. And simple things, even going outside into the sunshine for five minutes, boosts your immu immunity and your mood. Um, sunshine, just if five minutes is all you need. Wow. Something like that can help when you are dealing with people at a workplace, maybe going to a restaurant. How do you check in with somebody else? How do you make sure that maybe they're not uncomfortable? Is it important to even consider someone else? Oh, 100%. Um, it's just communication and, and, and being real and asking, just being straight out sometimes I think is, is the best, best way to approach those things. Just, you know, are you okay with this? You know, how do you feel? Um, you know, they're going to tell you. Wow. So it is important. It may seem really simple and straightforward and, you know, but, but a lot of people just don't have that communication. Even a little laughter and humor can go a long way. You know, just watching us in the morning. Blue Ridge Hope is available for any session, virtual or in person, blueridgehope.org. Right on there. You can call these guys, make an appointment. We'll put all their information at wspa.com as well. They deal with uh, so many different things there, including things in the social realm. That's what we're all talking about mm -hmm. this morning. All right, guys, send it back yeah. to you. Great resource. Thanks so much, Christine. Julie? You're watching Carolina Morning on 7 News on this rainy Wednesday morning. Stay with us. We'll be right back.